So today's Mother's Day, and I saw a meme out there, or as I like to call them to bother my kids, maymays. I saw it on Facebook and it said, uh, you can have a great day with your kids, or you can help them with the math homework, but you can't have both. And that was marked Coronalations 330. So while Coronalations might be one of the intertestamental books of the parenting Bible, I'd like to challenge that thinking right now and give you a resource that you might be able to use to help your kids with their math homework, and maybe even with all their homework. So parents, I'm going to be blunt with you. Don't learn math to help your kids with their math homework. I mean, some of you I really trust. I believe that you probably know a lot of the math, but you might not know the pedagogy behind it and the concepts behind it. So instead, learn how to ask your kids good questions. And this is how you can help them no matter what. Let's take a look. Let's see if kids are having trouble getting started with their math homework or even with any homework. Instead of saying, let me look at it, let me go figure it out, ask them a question. What do you know? What do you need to find out? How can you begin? Are there some words here you don't understand? Now, that's going to get them started in thinking about how to begin the question. Let's say you want to promote some reasoning with them. Instead of saying, let's figure out what you need to write down or make a list and telling them what to do, ask them a question. How can you organize that information? Can you make a prediction? Uh, does that always work? What if you broke this into parts? What parts might you see? This list of questions is here for you to help students comprehend what's the problem asking? What should you do next? To help them restart when they've hit a wall. Well, can you make a diagram for the problem? Or where can you find some information you need? Did your teacher give you something? When they're reflecting on their solutions? So have you answered the question? Or can you convince me, someone who might not know the math, that this answer makes sense? And then persevering through that. Is there any other way you could try this? This infographic is here for you. And I find it to be a way that you can begin to apply your help to your students' homework, actually, in this case, their remote learning, because there's no time for you to become experts in all other subjects. And I don't want you to, and neither do their teachers. But we do want you to help. And we want you to promote a mindset where questioning leads to inquiry, and inquiry leads to discovery, and discovery leads to learning. We're not here to tell you not to help your kids. We're just here to tell you not to do it for them. So I hope you understand I mean no harm when I say don't help your kids with their homework. What I really mean is find a way to be helpful. Find a way to help their learning become their learning and help them take ownership of it. And keep this list of questions handy. Uh, it'll help you derive new questions of your own and find new ways for you to engage your kids in their learning. That's what's powerful, when you're there alongside them, not in front of them. So thanks.